Ebola virus. What difference? Jim Crow Day. Most radical. It's time to try something new. Hey, everybody, welcome to News Busted. I'm Jody Miller. Let's get started. There's finally some good economic news this week. President Obama has left the country. <laughs> President Obama will be in Japan on Friday. The White House insists the president will not apologize for the Hiroshima atomic bombing, but he will apologize for not apologizing. <laughs> Bernie Sanders easily won the Oregon primary last week. Exit polls revealed that most of his voters have never heard of Venezuela. <laughs> Speaking of Venezuela, hospitals there have run out of soap, bandages, antibiotics, and there's also no electricity. Patients also complained they were lied to when they were told that if they liked their doctor, they could keep their doctor. <laughs> Bernie Sanders needs 68% of the remaining delegates to win his party's nomination, which is why he now wants to redistribute the superdelegates. <laughs> Film critics and the box office have not been kind to George Clooney's new movie, Money Monster. To give you an idea of how bad it is, Nicolas Cage walked out on it. <laughs> the government of Iran has accused Kim Kardashian of being a spy. She has the perfect cover because no one would ever associate her with intelligence. <laughs> And finally, according to a new book about the Kardashians, Caitlyn Jenner may transition back to being a man. In fact, Jenner's getting a new reality show called I Am Not Kate. <laughs> Thanks for watching News Blessed, everybody. I'm Jody Miller. Please be sure to subscribe to our videos on YouTube. We'll catch you next time.